Shalom and good day all, this is Tequila29, back again for another DC comic review, and in this DC comic review, it is The Dark Crisis, Young Justice, issue 2 of 6, and as you can see here, I have two different covers, to which I have also given their ratings, or got their ratings ready, and the first things first, do these covers in any way, shape or form, connect to something that's happening inside of a story. Um, the first one, not so much, but the other one, more so, yes. So, the first one on the left-hand side, not really, but we do actually get a different uh, Wonder Girl, which we see in this, as well as the main one. And, of course, we have Connor Kent, on the right hand one now for the first cover on the left hand side i gave a six out of ten but for the one on the right hand side i gave it a seven out of ten i'll now go to showing some of the internal art as well as covering some of the things in relation to the story around the beginning middle and of course the end so as we return to looking at some of the art around the beginning of the story I must admit, the art is alright. Is it perfect? Not in all places. And I think that Megan Fitzmartin will also be... will be writing uh, the Tim Drake run. Um, she hates Tim Drake, remember that. And as you can see here, that you can definitely see that there's something wrong with this Wonder Girl that they're with. And of course, the people who make up the Young Justice. As we start to move into the middle of the story, we start to see some of the things that are happening at the JLA. Well, what is believed to be the JLA. But by the way things are looking. Uh, this also feels like it might be a machination of Pariah. Now I've gone back a few pages to show what is happening with the real Cassie. But I'm also wondering if Cassie as well. This Cassie Sandsmark Wonder Girl might also be in her own somewhat dream as well all right because as you can see here of course this panel has been brought up for this for the discussion and um of all the nonsense that's happening around that but it also reflects a lot of the modernism that is in school and being interpret being brought into the comics But also in regards to Arrow, Arrow X's behavior. And as we can see here, she finally catches up with Arrow X. And even she's acting out of character. So are we to actually believe that maybe that all of these people that are connected to Young Justice are caught in this machination of Pariah? Um, one thing I brought up in a previous video is that do these machinations have different interpretations to different heroes? And that is in relation to uh, Dark Crisis, uh, of course, issue two, of course, with um, the Superman, the one shot on the Superman. Do these machinations actually show different, differently for different heroes? And I'd believe that even Cassie here might also be in one of those machinations. Just how things go in regards to the conversation. And also the conversation that's happening also with the main three characters that she's looking for. 
And last but not least, some of the art towards the end and some of the people that we see at the end. So, for the internal art, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. But now let's move to the area of the story rating. Even though this story had quite a lot of the elements that I enjoyed in the story, or enjoy in a story, I still felt that it fell short. So let's move into first things first. And that is the element of time. And to which we get a little while later, just in one of the scenes. Moving into the area of locations, we got Metropolis, we got... Um, The boarding school, uh, the Cardi boarding school, to which we got to see Wonder Girl go to and catch up with Arrowette. And last but not least, uh, I forget its name, sorry about that. Um, Moving into the cast of characters, though, we had Endowed, who was one of the villains. We had Superboy, Cl um, Connor Kent, Impulse, Tim Drake. Uh, we also had Toro, who made her appearance. We had the appearance of the Justice League in this. Like I said, each machination seems to come off differently uh, by what Pariah is doing. Even though we do know a bit of a spoiler in regards to who is partly responsible, but how much of it is actually from him and how much of it is actually from Pariah, we don't know. Um, then, of course, we've got Cassie. Um, we had Lex, Slade, and Captain Boomerang. For the overall story rating, I gave it a 4 out of 10. This thing does somewhat deserve to be in the Fool's Gold. But I'm going to keep on going through with reviewing this series. As much as I've not enjoyed it so far. Um, there is a story here whether we like it or not. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day. Yeah.